just before we jump into the video, guys, I just want to say, only 22% of you that actually watch my video subscribe to me. That is not what I want, yeah, guys. I know, I know I'm sounding greedy, but guys, come on, only 22% of you? I know you can do better than this. Uh, remember, our goal is at least 1,000 before the end of 2024. And of course, the end of this, at, by my birthday, at least 200 subscribers. We're around 30 subscribers away. Come on, guys. I know you all can do this. So, uh, press that red subscribe button. Make sure it's not grey, because sometimes YouTube will make you unsubscribe from my channel. I know, it's a weird glitch, but make sure you guys double check, go down there, press that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's up guys, GameSlow12B with another video, and today we are going to be reviewing a re shader pack for Minecraft. I know I have showed it in some videos before, but I've never really gone over the actual uh shader pack itself so today that's what we're going to be going over so oh well right now obviously i'm on the plain minecraft you know plain old minecraft so yeah uh the resource pack that i not resource shader pack that i'm going to be using today is silders resource pack um i don't have a link to it I, i'll try to ask one of my friends to get the link that gave me the resource pack um that might if i don't get it before the video releases it'll be the top comment pinned comment uh, in the comment section, but yeah, um, so ba basically it, it makes the game more realistic, I have shown it in videos before, like I said, um, don't worry about that, I, I did, I did die in this, in this world before, and, um, lost all the stuff, so I'm just using this, because it's actually a really good template, um, so, but, and also you can play around with the settings, making it, uh, look like this, so pretty good already, to this, so yeah, yeah. That's basically what you can do with this. You can mess around with the settings, which I will, which I may as well show you, maybe depending on how bad the recording makes me lag out. Uh, for this, we won't really need the render distance up as high because you know I want to make this as smooth as possible. So yeah, basically normal right now. Everything is normal, basic stuff. So we're gonna go into our options and video settings here. We're gonna go to our shaders. All right. So the Silders Vibrant Shaders. It's a pretty good shader. I've actually got a couple of settings still on it, so it's gonna be pretty good already. I think. I hope. I don't properly know right now. But yeah. Wait for this to load in. Alright, so we're in. And yeah. Ba basically, um, yeah, look at this. You can go from normal Minecraft, which was this, to a Minecraft that literally. Like, look at the shadow. Look at my shadow. Looks really good. Look at, look, look at everything. There's a couple of settings that I don't have enabled because that will definitely slow down my FPS here. So we're going to actually learn lower this down to like two chunks just to allow it to be okay. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so. Uh, you know what? We don't need two chunks. We can put it up to like nine. So, yeah, it's pretty good right now. So, we're going to go back into our video settings. We're going to go shaders. Um, up here, this is basically what I run on, and it runs pretty decent right here. So, my anti-aliasing. Let me just... Yeah, anti-aliasing off because it runs faster. All right, and now we're into our shader options. If you guys don't know what motion blur is, it basically represents motion blur, which is in most games, actually, motion blur. This allows you to do that. We have depth of field. I can't remember what depth of field does. Um, I'm going to go default, and we're going to go depth of field. So, right now, I'm actually just trying to make this as realistic as I possibly can. I mean, already, it's pretty good. And, yeah. It is actually really... It is a really nice shader. And if you have a good computer to run it, oh, well, you're basically done. You're, you're done. You've got it. 
So you have all your reflections, you have rain reflections, biome, caustics, I have actually no idea what caustics is. So I'm going to turn that on. I actually haven't done this, so hopefully this doesn't wreck my computer. It would be really bad if it does. You can also turn off your damage flash, which is like that red stuff when you hit animals. So, yeah. Uh, it's not photorealistic, sadly. I wish it was. That would make it even better. But no, it still has the Minecraft on it. It misses light. Fog options, underwater. Sky and lighting. Lens flare. You'll see what lens flare does. I actually haven't run it on strong. But it, it, so you, yeah, it's basically like a camera there. It's pretty good. And my drains aren't dropping too bad. And 30 FPS is still pretty, it's okay, but not good. And then you have all your shading, blah, 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 waving object. So, or you can, that's, you can just, change the speed of what is um, doing of what is working of what is moving like grass and all um, basically that's the basics of it I'm not gonna get too far into it mainly because I don't want to uh, bloom I have no idea what bloom does ah uh, this really is going to drop my FPS, but I'm doing this for you guys. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Actually, it's not too bad. So, yeah. So, it's a pretty good... So, it's decently good. And if you have a really good computer that can run pretty good stuff, well, then this would be a pretty good starter pack if you've always wanted to do that. So basically, that's the basics of Minecraft, of this Minecraft shader pack. Um, this is the before, and this is the after. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video and um, this review. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. And until next time, guys, this is GameSlayer12, and I will talk to you guys next time.